The dance group Brian Jess Terlahi began while he was in high school is approaching the big 2-0. It seems as if the man known to most as Uncle B still has the energy level of a teenager. By day, Brian teaches the Chamorro language and cultural arts at John F. Kennedy High School. By night, he's back in Jotnia as the esteemed leader of Guma Rasan Atsulati, where his cultural identity began to form. Brian had an unexpected start to his path, first with an invitation to chant and sing in Hawaiian while still in high school. Next was center stage when he stepped up to the plate to teach hula in Jonya. It wasn't until 1999 where I decided to um, kind of make that shift in, uh, in, in the arts. Uh, mind you, before that I wasn't interested in my culture, I wasn't interested in my language, uh, because I was so focused on trying to educate myself so that I can be successful in college and in the States. And that was my focus, that was my goal. Um, but in 1999, things changed. There was a big shift. Um, and I started to feel a little bit more connected with my island, my people, and my language. Brian also worked closely with Benji Santiago in the Natibo Dance Group. That further helped him carve out his path. Still, his vision wasn't clear. I was hired at Ocean View Middle School to start teaching and I I kind of felt weird because when I was hired, I was hired as a Chamorro dance teacher and that was my focus. And then I started to, I was questioning myself, I said, you know, you're a, da a Chamorro dance teacher and the focus should be on the Chamorro language and here you are coming in know knowing nothing about speaking or, or nothing about Chamo the Chamorro language itself. I knew about the language, I knew about the culture because I grew up around it, but I never, and it was always spoken around me, but I never really took interest in it until 2004. Then that's when um, I started to, to force myself because of the position that I was in, I started to force myself to, to learn the language and to, to, to speak it and to practice it. Uh, and then that's when um, I started to see a new, a new vibe in, in what I was, a, a, a new journey in, 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 in my life. And um, it wasn't, uh, I, I had a dance group, it started in 1999, but my focus was, it was, in a way it was like, I didn't know, I, I didn't, I, I couldn't re it couldn't really sit well. I wanted to do hula, I wanted to do chamorro, and then I started to mesh it together. But it was like something was still missing there. Um, I didn't really understand what I do now. By 2006, all those concepts came together and he made a decision to focus on the chamorro culture. His group adopted the name Rasen Atsu Lati, the descendants of the Lati. He also began working with the master credited for the Chamorro dance movement. Uncle Frank Rabon really saw something in me, uh, and he saw the passion that I had. Uh, and um, he even told me, he said, you know what, boy? Um, meaning, you know, your, your canoe has already arrived. You have been in the ocean for many, many years or many, many, for a long time, but your, your canoe has finally arrived. And at that time, I really didn't understand what he meant. Um, but now I do, as I see students starting to, to appreciate, um, not that they did it in the past, but it started to appreciate um, what, what doors um, has, have been opened because of the programs that have, have existed, not only through, through myself, but through other, through other teachers as well. Two years later, Brian's small community group was recognized as Guma Rasen Atsulati, House of the Descendants of the Lati, and he was bestowed with a distinguished title as Fafanagui of that group. It continues its growth with several sister schools in Japan and the Philippines, where there are dozens interested in learning Guam's language and culture. But the greatest accomplishment that we've had as a Guma is to continue to exist for so many years. Um, uh, Uncle Frank always tells us that if a group survives five years, it's a miracle. If it, if it survives 10 years, it, it's supposed to be. And, and so we're going on our, uh, we've already celebrated our 19th year, we're going on our 20th year. And it's, it's so nice to, to sit down and, you know, reminisce about our struggles, our, our humble beginnings, our, our trials and our tribulations, and then also, of course, our achievements. Since he began, Uncle B has probably taught more than 2,000 students from toddlers to Manumco, not including the 14 years he spent in the public school system.
And it would be amiss if we didn't mention the personal transformation Brian has taken in the last couple of years. Brian has lost around 115 pounds since Guam hosted the Festival of the Pacific Arts. I always feel that I have to do more. And with my weight, my weight issue, I had many students leaning on me. I, w I was the only pillar. Um, Uncle Frank always tells us this, you know, I'm your pillar, I'm your pillar. And so I, I kind of took that and said, you know, I have to be the pillar for these, these kids that do not have a pillar. And if, if I cannot even take care of myself, how, how in the world am I gonna take care of them? And so I just made this life-changing effort and it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't something that I was professing to the world. It was just my little um, goal for myself. And two years ago, I made, right after the Festival of Pacific Arts, I decided to, to go and get a, a checkup. And the doctor told me the things that I already knew. Um, that I was overweight, uh, I needed to change my eating habits, I needed to, to, um, to change my lifestyle. And since then, since uh, 2016, I've been so fo focused on my, my, um, my, um, my weight loss that it, it's provided more opportunity for me to, to be there for my students. I mean, a, a lot of my kids now are seeing me as a person that Oh, uh, Uncle B goes running. I want to join him. You know, I want to. I want to eat the way he does. And it's it's, in a way, it's 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 still. They still look up to me as as this 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 person that that um, is a role model for them. But then it it kind of um, in a in a different sense, in, in a more healthier sense. You know, um, I always saw myself as a fafanagui. Always saw myself sitting down and teaching. You know dictating to what the students need to do while they're, while they're practicing, uh, telling them you need to move here, move there, hina na apunta. But now what I'm doing is I'm getting up with them and I'm dancing with them, I'm doing workouts with them, uh, you know, just for the sake of becoming a little bit healthier. Brian also hit another personal milestone this year by entering and winning the 2018 Miss Pacificana pageant. He shined on stage, often speaking in Chamorro. But the, the most, the most inspirational thing for me that evening was knowing that my family was there, knowing that my friends were there, and also my students. You know, it, it, the lesson that, that I want to happen is for the students to understand that it's all right. It's all right to be different because through your differences, that's what makes you unique. And that's that in, in the cultural aspect, when we go out and perform and we showcase our culture, it's all right to be different because people are intrigued about who you are and where you come from. If there's a lesson to learn from the path he's taking in life, it's that change is inevitable. You can see it in his Chamorro cultural group, the way he teaches, and in his personal growth. He offers this message in Chamorro. Para todos ni iman, man fafa na guiz, and todos ni iman, maestrosia continua. It's so it's so sa para ta abansa todo sa ni i i i manya it's so manya inata no esta un intingo na ahi tipo hita este lo pari fa magonta zani fa magon fa magon ni ha na para u esu sa ni iman mama maila no ni hita continua mo na ni hita fa nagoti kana esa ni hita ni hita abansa mo na i lenguaje sa mas importante i lenguaje zani cultura um, ungan para hita lo que lo para isa ni i famagonta ni 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 mamamamela pues uh, sa nagulo na si Jesus mo si 